SpaceX 4 is preparing for a launch to the space station later this week, and with that, tons of supplies and new research are headed to the station. It all happens at Cape Canaveral in Florida, and Lori Meggs is live today from nearby Kennedy Space Center to talk about one of the interesting investigations. Lori? Hi, Amico. Yeah, we're here live at Kennedy Space Center, and that is where a lot of the important work is going on to process those payloads and get them ready for launch. Joining me now is Cecilia Wigley. She's from Ames Research Center, and she is responsible for leading the team that is helping process and get these, these uh, payloads ready for orbit. Cecilia, tell us about your rodent research project. That's what we're going to talk about today. Okay, so uh, the Rodent Research One project is the first in a series of rodent research activities that we'll be conducting on Space Station. Uh, we plan to fly about twice a year on every even-numbered SpaceX. Uh, and there's a history behind this, too. There's a the history, shuttle. yes. We have a long history of flying uh, and doing experiments with um, rodents, uh, both mice and rats, on the shuttle. And now we're moving this to the new platform at the Space Station. Tell us about your role here and how you've been preparing everything here at Kennedy. Okay, well, I lead the team that's responsible for integrating all the various requirements that come from science um, to implement the, the research on station. So we work with the crew office and do crew training, crew procedures. Um, what we've been doing here, of course, the mice have arrived and uh, we're making sure um, that they're housed appropriately in the animal care facility here. And then our hardware team is processing the hardware that we'll be launching on um, SpaceX 4 with the rodents and the support hardware needed. And we're taking a look here at, I guess, their, their, their habitat. Their habitats, right. So what uh, we have there is basically the habitats, the transporter, and then the access unit that we'll be using to uh, move the animals back and forth between the, the various pieces of hardware we'll be using. And it is important research with the mice. What are we trying to learn from all of this? Uh, well, on the shuttle, we were limited to the length of a shuttle flight. So basically, 14 to 16 days was the maximum we were able to um, do experiments. With moving to the station as a platform, we can now do long duration experiments. This first one will be 30 days, and then we'll be moving on to 60 and 90 day and potentially longer experiments on station to be able to look at long-term effects of microgravity and living systems. And let's talk about CASIS and NASA, the partnership here. Okay. So um, basically, Rodent Research is going to be a partnership between NASA and CASIS, which is the Center for the Advancement of Science in Space. Um, CASIS will be bringing in commercial partners and non-NASA funded uh, research, so potentially academia or other government agencies. And the first in a series, but we've got to get this one off. Got to get this uh, one off, Saturday. right? So, what happens if if we don't get through those launch windows? Uh, well, we have two attempts in this first launch window, either Saturday or Sunday, um, early in the morning. If we don't go by Sunday, then um, the hardware will be returned to us with uh, the mice inside, and we will um, offload them over in the animal care facility and start to prepare the hardware for another turnover later on in the week for the next set of launch attempts.